Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video, we're going to look at how to apply conditional formatting to mail merge fields in Word. Now, I have this basic document on screen where I am in the middle of performing a mail merge to let my customers know how many points they've earned this week. And if that points tally is greater than 20, I would like that value to automatically turn red and if it's not to remain in black. Now to do that I'm going to need to edit the field code of that number mail merge field with an if function to provide that conditional logic. So first of all we need to see the field codes and we can do that with the keyboard shortcut Alt and F9. So that was Alt and F9 together and you can see the field codes behind it. Now we're going to click inside the field for the number mail merge field. And within there, I'm going to start up a if function. Now this will have some similarities in, a, in its construct to how you can do it in Excel. So for those of you watching who are familiar with that, this won't be too far, uh, too far away from that, although it will have its differences. Uh, one of those key differences is that we have to use these curly braces that you can see within that field code. Now you cannot type those, they have to be put in in a special way and that is to use the Control and F9 keyboard shortcut. So if I do Control F9, I get these two curly braces appear and I'm going to type in merge field number. So I could insert this as well using the ribbon above, the little drop down I've got for inserting that mail merge field again. But I've decided to type it here, which is equally uh, as good. I want to know if that mail merge field is greater than 20. Even though 20 is a number, I'm going to have to type it within those inverted commas, indicating it as a string. Let me get rid of that mail merge number bit there. So if the merge field number is greater than 20. Now the next step, you do not need commas or anything like that, like we do in Excel, but the next uh, argument is value if true. So I'm just going to insert that mail merge field, this time using the drop down above, like I mentioned we could do a moment ago. I'm going to put a space and insert it again this episode of the number mail merge field is for the value if false. And all we need to do to apply the conditional format inside of things is format the true and false values. So if I highlight merge field number, the second one, because that will be the value if true instance of it, and I can apply any formatting I wish, I said in the build up I want to turn the font red. So that's what I will do. But that could also be turning it bold, underlining it, you know, any kind of formatting you may wish to show. I'm going to leave the other one blank. So if the merge field number is greater than 20, turn it red, otherwise leave it in the font that it is. And then there's an if function in Word being applied to a field. You have to apply them to these fields. So I'm going to press the Alt F9 keys again. Alt F9 to toggle back to, not the field code, but back to normal. Now don't be put off that that says 25 and it's in black. Needs a little bit of a wake up in Word, it's not as quick as Excel. So on the mailings tab, I'm going to scroll through the customers I have, and now I can see 40s in red, 15s in black, 22s in red. And if I go back to the first one, that 25 is now in red, just needed a little bit of a wake up as I say. So we can see that the conditional form has been done. Any values that are greater than 20 are turning red, those that are not turn black. And that is applying conditional formatting to merge fields in Word. You can indeed apply that concept to any Word field, it doesn't have to be mail merge, but that's a scenario we're working with here and now. I hope you found that video useful. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel. Come check us out at computergargar.com.